Hey everyone, welcome back to Chokor Sumning. We are reading Lamri. We are making life meaningful day by day. We are on day 141. And it's Tuesday. I hope you're thriving this Tuesday wherever you are. And let's get started. Day 141. Quote. Sorry. Quote. We can totally trust the Buddha because he shows no partiality at all. End quote, Lama Zuparipoche. Text. The third reason that the Buddha is a trustworthy refuge is that he feels compassion for all sentient beings without exception. He has no sense of partiality at all, favoring one sentient being over the other. He is completely without discrimination in his wish to help others, whether they are his immediate family or a sown enemy determined to kill him. Devadatta was Buddha's cousin and always felt intensely jealous of Buddha. On different occasions, he actually tried to kill him. The Buddha's physician had given the Buddha some medicine that was incredibly powerful. Devadatta heard that if anybody less advanced than the Buddha took this medicine, it would be too powerful for them and they would die. This incensed Devadatta, who determined that he would prove he was as powerful as the Buddha by also taking the medicine. He swallowed the medicine and, as the doctor predicted, became gravely ill. It was obvious that his life was in terrible danger. When the Buddha heard this, he went to Devadatta, put his hand on Devadatta's forehead and said that if he had equal love and compassion for Devadatta as for his own beloved son Rahula, then Devadatta would get better. Just by the power of the truth in those words alone, Devadatta was immediately cured. If the Buddha did not show unbiased compassion equally for all, he couldn't guide all sentient beings. There would always be some that he didn't guide because of his partiality. But because he's completely released from all delusion, there is not a single sentient being that he doesn't understand and feel compassion for. He feels equal compassion for all. The three big recalls of the day are the Buddha is a trustworthy guide because he is completely without discrimination. Challenged by the jealous Devadatta, the Buddha showed only love and compassion. The Buddha feels equal compassion for every sentient being without exception. That's really heartwarming to read together, isn't it? All right. I hope we all can take some time this Tuesday and meditate on the great qualities of Shakyamuni Buddha. And uh, rejoice in having read today. All right. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye from Chokor Sumling.